Brompton and Sheffield that is led for everyone together. This is a joyous time of celebration. Uh, there are announcements in the bulletin for you, and uh, please make note of them. Uh, a number of them are printed. Um, first of all, um, an announcement of the congregational meeting at each church next Sunday, and that will be uh, right at the very end of the service. We'll have a little bit short of the service. And uh, so the one will be uh, conducted by Presbytery, and that is uh, for forming a JNAC committee. And then also we're going to be uh, having uh, a congregational meeting accepting the uh, proposed uh, plans of organization within the church. So we've been working on that for a while. Uh, for Sheffield, there are a number in the back window for you if you're interested. And also there are copies of Rockwood, but of course you're not there to get them, but uh, that'll be along the way. And uh, note there are also a Rockland anniversary coming up on November the 1st. And then a note about the Turkey Supper here in Sheffield, November the 4th. Uh, please keep that in mind. And uh, we need lots of help and lots of workers for that. And people encouraging to sell tickets and all of that. And then uh, the bazaar here is coming up on December 5th as well. So those are the announcements for you. Any other announcements we need to hear? I know that we have one.
share God's mighty acts. Let us join together in the opening prayer that is printed in the bulletin. And if you would respond with the whole printed portion. <clears throat> Creator God, today we have come to acknowledge the gifts that our forebears have given to us. The gifts of vision and all, the gifts of time and resources, the gifts of the shepherd of our region. Companion God, today we have come to celebrate your presence here with us in this community. In sharing our stories, in the memories of laughter, in the scripture and song. Spirit of possibilities for the future, today we proclaim your hope and our hope. In the call to build community. Make noise. 
and then some of the congregation can pick up some later on as well. Okay, good things to get in there. Oh yes, you have to get the two B things. And uh, oh, you both got two B things. So I better get some of the rattles here then. Oh, so there's. Oh, you know how to do it? Okay, so if we start with the. Uh, uh, we're marching in the light of God. And we'll start marching. So the scripture 
this morning is from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 to 5, and 12 and 13. So if there's any encouragement in Christ, any incentive of love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfishness or conceit, but in humility count others better than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For God is at work in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Today we are taking a look at how we think this church will look in 
in 25 years, in 2040. 25 years ago, we never would have foreseen the arrival of so many technological changes in society. And these changes have become an integral part of our church, too. Microphones and slide projectors, cell phones, elevators, chairs, computers, online servers, websites, televisions for videos, email, and selfies. To contemplate how far along we will be in 2040, one needs a crystal ball. We didn't have a crystal ball. What we did have was a crystal bowl, which may, which may skew things just a little bit. Or maybe you just need a vivid imagination. And that's where we go. I remember the 200th anniversary. We had Heather with the band marching around the church. And then remember 2023, those segways were all the gold. And we were up and down the hall with the elves with the segways. And everybody ran into each other. And they were singing, marching in the light of God. But they were on segways. They weren't marching at all. But yeah, back in those days, back in those days. Remember we had that that chairlift thing installed. Isn't we that? Did. That helped people up the stairs. Isn't that the cutest little thing now? Beep, beep, beep. And it was disturbing. It yeah, was. yeah. And, uh, it got people here. Yeah. And uh, remember, we had all those uh, uh, rings in the fence along the church, the church fence, the rings for people to tie up their horses. And of course, along the way, we put in plug ins for electric cars. Don't use them anymore either. And so it's it's been lots of changes. Now, we have these drones flying around all over now. Drones delivering parcels and taking us everywhere. And a couple of weeks ago, I pulled up Uber drone, drone to get a ride to church, and punched in all the right numbers and everything. The GPS got all screwed up, landed me in the bell tower. <laughs> Margaret then, huh? <laughs> 
Norman Holstein's and there you will be to oh. be able to deliver the message to me personally. No, and that'll serve something. you right for not coming to church. <laughs> and I think we're going to have headsets for everybody in the congregation because it's going to be like the United Nations here in 25 years from now and everybody will have their own personal headset and we'll be able to hear what the minister has to say. And that'll work out real well because we're going to have it all translated into foreign languages because they're building a whole new survey over there next to the ballpark in Sheffield. And all those people from other nationalities will be here and they won't be able to understand what Reverend Ken is saying. And so we'll have to have the headsets and everybody will get their own personal ones. Hey, hey. Yeah, well, there'll be none of that. And then I think we'll have these devices, you know, where you just press the button on here, just like they did on Star Trek. And inside here will be your contact list. And everybody that, that you know will be on that list. And you'll just be able to press this button and be able to contact them right away. And, and if you have a if you have a lot of people, you'll be built right into your clothing. If you don't, you'll be able to put on your own personal pin that has all your numbers in there. And that way you'll be able to stay in touch. And if you have a meeting, you won't have to go. You'll just be able to sit at home. And that way you'll be able to talk to everybody on a teleconference. Only it'll be done by the phone that you've got set to strap to your chest. Well, and I think we're going to have live orchestral music that will be piped in from Hamilton Place with the Hamilton Silver and Philharmonic Orchestra. And we won't have to have Grant here anymore. And we won't have to have Suzanne anymore. But Grant will be down there directing the choir, and Suzanne will be the one directing the one at Rockton. And that will work out real well because we'll need it for the hymns. And then we'll be able to save the money that we pay for Grant and Suzanne to put into, you know, the and we won't know any of those new dark hymns anyway. We won't know anyway, it's just like we did when we got that last year. Yeah. yeah. I think one day computers are going to be mandatory. And then all the folks that are here will be able to have live and in, in person, in person daily messages. We can I need that? I don't know about you, but I need Ken to give me a message every day. You know, my phone will ring, my, my cell phone will ring, and it'll be Ken. Or my computer will ring, and it'll be Ken, and I'll recognize it on my computer and it'll be a little message like things like I want you to go out and make a difference. Sing a song to them. I want you to be more positive. Help somebody today. Uh, and I don't expect any thanks for it. I want you to, to try to remember to be kind to of people because we're all out here fighting the same hard battle. And that's a message that, that Ken will give us each day when we go to our I'm really well, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm so excited I can Look out for 
the interest of others and reach out and care and have all that mission for everybody. It's a really good thing. And, uh, and keep working on your own salvation because we know it's a mighty long way away. And God is at work for everyone now. Sharing the Spirit, that's the important thing in the church. And that doesn't change no matter how many anniversaries we have. We keep sharing in the same Spirit of Jesus Christ that guides us along. Isn't that right? That is the truth. You know, we look down there in the front, it's always been that way. When, when the church was formed, it was like that white cauliflower that's there on the, on the communion table. They made it the way they wanted it to be, based on the scriptures that they had in front of them. Through the years, somebody's come along and made a few changes to that white cauliflower, and it became other colors as we invite women into the church. And, and uh, people of other nationalities came along, and gay people came along, and women doffed their hats and their gloves. And the, the church changed. The cauliflower that you see behind on the table here kind of represents what the future of the church will be. It's still going to be a cauliflower, but it's going to have a little different form, a little different shape. The, the facts that we had at the start are still there. Good communication is mighty to the success of any endeavor. How we impart the truth that we know is not as important as the truth that we know. The Bible communicates the stories of Jesus and God. We know that. We know the hows and whys of life in God's world from the Bible, giving us basic principles of life and living. We know from the Bible we are not alone. We know from the Bible God loves us. Down through the centuries, the Bible has been our immutable, our unchanging communication source. Our church was created 203 years ago. Changes and more changes have come to this church, altering how we see and do things. What 2014 will be, likely, is anybody's guess. These two things I can say with assurance that won't change. We want to come together to share with the community of believers in Jesus Christ our Lord. Being and sharing together face to face has always been important to us. It is our strength. And we can follow the example and teaching of Jesus with confidence. Those things don't change, no matter how many years get along. And so we're going to still have lunch after church. That's really good. Let's move on with that. Oh, an important thing. So I think maybe they've had enough of us. Okay. And how do we uh, sing together?
especially in this harvest season, uh, let us uh, thank God by presenting our offering. Oh, no, God, bless our community. 
it is so important for us to be together within community and to uplift the community that there is around us, that we want to remain in good relationships with everyone, that that is important to us, that it is important that we be face to face. It may be that these days there is so much texting and so much relating on the computer and all of that, but we know, oh God, that it is important for us to be face to face as well and share in these activities within the church. Oh God, we bring to you these our prayers asking for your blessings, that they be on our church, that they be on our children, that they be on our community. This we ask in the name of Jesus who taught us to pray together as we do now in song.
and we pray together in the God of challenges call us to minister with renewed purpose and drive and God of surprises bring smiles and joys to the everyday and ordinary may the God of love be seen in all we do and say go forth rejoicing for the good work has just begun Amen